Hey folks, Dave back here, and tonight what I'm going to do is show you how to put a team into the Shootout Hockey Helper Program. Now the Shootout Hockey Helper Program, it allows you to play the Shootout Hockey game right on your table, but it does take a little bit of work to set it up, so let's show you how it's done. All right, there's three things you need to do to put a team into the helper. So let's go to our Shootout Hockey Helper folder. We double click on this, and it brings up all this stuff right here. The first thing you're going to need is the team card image. Okay, these are all the ones that are in there. It comes with the 66-67 season, and all you need to do is just kind of follow those guidelines, and you, you should be all set. So the first thing you need is a card image. Next is the team logo. Luckily, most of the logos are already included when you get the helper, so you really don't need to do much with that unless you're putting in some kind of a crazy team. But for the most part, everything's in here. And then finally, the team text file. And you can see that these are all the teams that I put in or were already included. Again, 67 was included in here and all the rest I added. And it's just a straight text file. The key is getting everything to line up. If you don't get it to line up, then the program won't run properly. In fact, it might even crash on you. What you need to do is everything needs to be the same name, meaning... Atlanta Flames, 1973-74 JPEG for the card. Okay? Atlanta Flames logo. It's already in there. You don't need to worry about it. And then Atlanta Flames, 1973-74 text file. Now, you see I have a couple of different teams. So I have Detroit 66-67, Detroit 73-74. All you need to do is make sure, for the most part, the team card image and the text files are exactly the same name. And I'll show you how we're going to get to that. So let's get to uh, the card image first. So what I have for card images, I blew this up nice and big, and I'm going to do the Minnesota North Stars from 1983, 1984. I use this program called Snagit. It works out pretty well. So I'm going to capture the North Stars card using Snagit. Doesn't have to be exact. That's pretty good. Now, you need to change the size of the card to an exact pixel size. Now, I use this down here. I'm going to change this, and it's 352 by 629. That is the card image that you need. Now, there's also a little text file included with the helper that explains all this as well, but I'm just kind of giving you the visuals. So I've used a capture program to capture this card. 352 wide by 629 high. I'm going to apply that to my card and now I'm going to file save as. Now this is where it gets important. So I already have Minnesota in here from 7374. So to make my life easy, I'm going to click on this and just change this from 7374 to 8384. Either that I could have just typed it all out. And now I'm going to save this JPEG in the team card images folder of the shootout hockey helper file if you follow that so now we're going to save so that image if i come over to here now shootout hockey helper team card images there's my minnesota north stars 1983-84 okay that's the first part so let's go back out of here so the image is done for all intents and purposes so we're going to close this out and we're going to minimize this Okay, so now the logo is all set as we talked about, so I need to do the team text file. So shootout Hockey Helper, I'll go to here, team text files, and I'm going to call up Minnesota North Star 7374 since I already have that done. Now, again, it does come with 6667, so if you wanted to, you, you would probably call up Boston or another team and just change this to exactly what you see here to your team and your names. Okay, so I'll, I'll use this one, for example, just to make it easy. All right, so let me, so I just open that up. It's just in Notepad. I want to get out of here and minimize this. Now, I'm going to call up uh, the Pro Hockey Reference webpage, and I got that just on, on the Internet, and this has all the players from the Minnesota North Stars 83-84. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to Minnesota 
North Stars. Now I change the date, 83, 84, and then my abbreviation. And all I'm doing is just changing the Bruins to the North Stars. And this is how you do it with every team. It's just overwriting it all. So now what I need to do is I need to actually call up my card so I can see who's on it. Now, I don't put any bench players on there. That's just me. I don't like to put the bench players in when I'm playing this, uh, um, on the helper. If I'm playing on the table, it's easy to call up everything, but I don't put them in the helper. Okay, so we're going to minimize this, and let's see who is on the card now. So <clears throat> let's start at the top. So you're just going to erase the player names. And start typing in. Now, I have the reference over here to show me the, the exact spelling. So I have a McCarthy. So the, they do have it um, alphabetical here somewhere. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I'm going to go up here. So there's a McCarthy, and that is Tom McCarthy. And then I get Neil Broughton, and I have this so I make sure the spelling is correct. Like spe spelling is not important, but it might come up, it's going to come up misspelled. Okay, so. Oh, what does it say? Neil Broughton. Oh, it's actually Neil Broughton. Good thing I saw that. And then Dino Cicerelli, one of my favorite players on the North Stars. I think that's Steve Payne. What's actually fun when you do this is you try to remember some of the players' names because it doesn't give you the first names all the time on the card. So you got Keith Acton. I think that's Brian Bellows. He was the captain. Oh, uh, is that Mark Napier? Mark Napier, uh, I think that was Dennis Marook. He's the old seal, so Dennis Marook. And then Al McAdam. Let me go over here just to make sure about that. I think that was Al McAdam. Oh, wait, it's down. It'll be down here. Um, Al McAdam. Yep. Al McAdam. Oop. Al McAdam. Then I got Brent Ashton. Yep, Brent Ashton, Brian Lawton, Brian Lawton, Willie Plett, Brad Maxwell, not sure who he is. Oh, maybe, maybe I remember Brad Maxwell. And uh, Gord, I think that's Gordy Roberts, right? Gordy Roberts. And we got Kurt Giles, Ferguson. George Ferguson, Lindgren, Lars Lindgren, Richter, Dave Richter, uh, Velichek, Randy Velichek. And again, I don't put um, any of the re reserves on there. For goaltenders, Gilles Meloche and Don Beaupre. B A U Pre. Now, if you wanted to, if you wanted to add a goalie in here, all right, so we have John Casey actually played some games and Jim Craig. So just for, for funs and ha-has, if you wanted to, you could actually put, yeah, see how they got the other goalies there? You could do John Casey, Jim Craig. So oh, put the goalies at the bottom. So now we have Minnesota North Stars, 1983 84. So what we're going to do now is we're going to save this file. Save as. Make sure it goes into the Shootout Hockey Helper Team Text Files. This is going to be Minnesota North Stars, 1983 84. Save as a text document. Okay? Save. So now, if we go back into our shootout hockey helper in our team text files, we have Minnesota North Stars 83-84. So if we did everything correct, and I hope we did, we have the Minnesota North Stars 83-84. The team logos are already in there for us, so we already have Minnesota North Stars in here, so we don't have to worry about that. That should line up. And then we have our team text files over here as well. So basically we just added the team image in the team text files and named it the exact same thing, except one is a .jpg and one is a .txt file. So let's see if that worked, shall we? So we're going to close out everything.
I'll minimize everything. And now let's open up our shootout hockey helper. And you can see this is the starting screen. And this is all the teams that I put in. And once it's in, it's in. So, I mean, if you wanted to put in every team you have, you could play any team at all. So, let's go. Let's see if this works. So, 1983-84 Minnesota North Stars. And I already put in the 83-84 Edmonton Oilers. And we're going to continue. And voila. Here we go. So, you can see this is the card I put in. Let's go to starting goaltenders. And here's all the players. So, if I wanted to, I could say Jim Craig. We'll start for Minnesota. Remember, he's not on the card, but he's under others. So I put him on the team, and we'll have uh, we'll have Andy Moog play. And we're ready to go. We have Moog in net, and we have Jim Craig in net, and now we're ready to play our hockey helper. And this helper allows you to use the cards or roll the dice. It's a fun game, and I love playing this on the helper. It's great for streaming games. So anyway, I'm Dave. I hope you enjoyed this little video here on how to put a team into the Shootout Hockey Helper program. I love this little program here, too. I mean, I actually, this is one of those games that I, I like playing this on the computer, but I equally like playing it on the table as well. Um, but this is how you put it into the helper. So I'm Dave. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.